course you know this dog. Everyone does. It's the dog from Wizard of Oz. That's right. It's the Toto dog. Sharon Terriers are definitely the type of dog that when you walk in the door, they're going to be bouncing all over the place and be very excited that you're there. Really, really funny dog. Loads of personality. Stars like David Hasselhoff, Bill Murray, even Liza Minnelli have all had this all-about-me dog. They're not going to let you ignore them. They're going to make sure you know that they are there. I think I've never really met a Karen Terrier that's lacking in self-confidence. Courageous, tenacious, and intelligent, it's the stuff big dog bruisers are made of. And Karen Terriers, too. I find this dog to have the intelligence and the energy of most of the terriers without the bratty, rough demeanor. When you take them for a walk, they could care less if you were at the other end of the leash because they are so focused on finding anything they can to get into trouble with. Believe it or not, some folks might think of these dogs as being a little rat-like. Well, guess what? They'd be right. They were bred to hunt rodents. The Cairn Terrier is the smallest of the Scottish Terriers, which originated over 200 years ago on the Isle of Skye. Cairns are rock piles that usually you'll see around the seabed. They would go into these cairns and flush out any type of rodents and whatnot, and that's how they got the name Cairn Terrier. And it's the inquisitive little gutsy behavior that owners eat up. But aside from just being cute, the Cairn's ragamuffin-like scruffy coat has an important function. They have a very, very coarse coat. And this fur coat, if maintained correctly, is waterproof and weather resistant. And these dogs can be found in a variety of colors, except white. A white Cairn Terrier is now a West Highland White Terrier. Also interesting are the dog's big feet. They're large, with thick pads and strong nails, and the front paws are bigger than the back paws giving these little hounds the advantage when it comes to digging. They love to hunt, they love to sniff, and they love to dig. So if you have a backyard with dirt or flower plants, say goodbye to them. Another footnote. Cairn Terriers are left pawed. If they could only throw a baseball. But it's these small, alert, upright, and pointed ears set high and wide on top of the head that tell you your Cairn is intently listening to your every word. Remember how Toto took control and then and, and, and they followed him around to find Dorothy? Well, Cairn Terriers are like that. This little dog can pretty much live anywhere, as long as the area is securely fenced in. They would make good city dogs, but you'd want to keep them on a leash. They like to roam. It's a healthy breed that usually has a long life, with an average life of 15 years. And caring for your Cairn is important, so grooming should be done properly. But if you like the traditional scraggly look, owners should have the Cairn Terrier hand strips twice a year. You pull out the dead hair, it is not a painful process. The Cairn Terrier is trainable, but remember, Cairns are stubborn, so it can take some time and creativity. This is a great dog who loves to play and needs a family that's active and affectionate. So in general, this dog can live in most household environments. It's a pretty healthy little dog. It should be hand stripped twice a year. Training should begin at an early age, and this dog is good with kids and loves attention. They are little dogs with a very spunky sort of sparkle in their eye. 